Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This Vulcan Report is an end of day report for trading on May the 26th, 2016, Thursday. And as you can see, this is a chart of the silver futures. And basically, the market attempted to rally and it's already beginning to, uh, to pull back here. As you can see here, also uh, volume increasing a bit here uh, in this move, but right now, it's uh, coming off momentum wise so you're looking at possibly f uh, flat to lower prices within um, the next trading session as we're coming up on this holiday I don't really suspect any volume for Friday's trading and uh, this market should probably continue its descent below the Kumo cloud right now even though you're flatlining here a bit so don't see really any interest going into this market it's come off from the highs steadily decline every day attempts of rallies only become more opportunities for selling so I suspect we're going to continue to continue this correction as now we're, we're closing below the trend line support here so weakness further weakness is still seen uh, in this market moving forward all right, looking here at the uh, gold futures, pretty much the same thing. Except for this one is a little bit more defined to the downside. It's getting pretty weak here. Um, it's in an oversold situation, but it's locking in this downtrend. So any rallies back up to possibly the 11, I'm sorry, the 1239 level will probably be met with selling. Right now, we got uh, the shorter term support line about to cross below the longer term su support line to become resistance now. And this should help to push prices lower. So, right now, technically speaking, we are in a, um, in a post wave negative scenario in both the gold and the silver. And it looks like the downward pressure could accelerate in the week ahead. Overhead resistance right now is at uh, 1255, and I don't think um, we're going to get anywhere near that. I think the downward selling is going to accelerate as we're now technically in free fall on the daily chart. As you can see here, crude oil broke $50 a barrel today, and it's uh, pulse waving positive, steadily declining every day here. We've been doing it, and support now is at 47.62. Don't want to see prices break below that, or we could see uh, further declines to come. Last time we broke it, uh, support was back here with that 43.99, and we did get down to 43.32 there, and here we got as low as 43.02. So just about 90, 95 percent, sorry, 95 cents uh, pullback on this last uh, takeout of support back here and then we proceeded to rally so um, we'll have to watch this one to see what what can develop here if this support is taken out though uh, this could put us back down toward the 4350 handle and that's because of the, the current positioning of the market but on the daily chart it is trending bullish right now and momentum is starting to sideways move and wane off a bit all right, U.S. dollar index, uh, as you can see, is starting to uh, pull back here. And right now it's in danger of taking out the 94.40. If it takes out 94.40, this market will be in free fall back toward the 93 and 92 handle and getting near the, um, the support low of 91.88. Moving forward, this market is still bearish. Uh, the short-term trend line is not crossed above the longer-term one. It's just flattening out right here. So we could accelerate if this low support is taken out. Taking a look now at the Dow, it seems to be the strongest out of the other indices. Uh, currently supporting on the daily at 17.363. This market is just uh, remaining locked in on the um, on the bull side of things, and we see that it's probably going to try to test this 18,000 by the end of next week. It is post waving positive right now. And Warren Buffett is having a field day as Apple is continually trending higher. It broke par today, broke that 100, we're at uh, 100 
dollars and 41 cents and we're getting closer to the bottom of the Kumo cloud where we should see very strong resistance at that 102.50 handle uh, and then we'll probably pull back down here to this current 100 to try to find a support right here at the trend line before moving higher to 105. Currently the market is supported at 94.44 and as long as that's not taken out then the rally should continue. Uh, this is still a bear market so we will call this a bear market rally and it's not over until it's over but it should hit some major resistance at the bottom of the Kumo cloud. We're trying to lock in here on this overbought uh, bullish uh, retracement off of the lows here of 89.47 so this will be one to watch in the week ahead as well. All right, Amazon now is trying to uh, take off here. Uh, we hit uh, close at one at 7.14.91 so getting closer there at 722.45, thinking wants to make a run and take that out. Going into next week, this market is supported right now at uh, $700.93. As long as we can remain above that, this market should be well supported to make a run for that into next week. We're in an overbought status, and it's still yet to be seen if we're going to lock in or not, or if we're going to pull back into next week. Netflix continues its retracement off of its lows. Had a nice gap run up uh, today. Gapped up to the, toward that 105. We hit 104 as a high, and um, then the market pulled back. So I suspect that this gap is going to be filled, um, if not this week, then possibly next week before building a base here at this trend line support of 95.88. So I do see the market pulling back between the 97.85 and 95.88. Uh, to fill that air pocket there before bouncing higher if it can do it. Market remains supported overall at 91.89 for this move. Market is trying to lock in here as we're in the overbought phase and 105 seems to be a strong upward resistance. We'll have to watch this one going forward into next week to see what develops. Finally looking at Facebook. Facebook remains poised to move higher. Uh, we close out at 119.47. Market remains well supported on the daily at 113.35. And the trend lines are looking like they want to point up going into next week. Looks like it wants to make a run at the 120.108. And this market uh, is now in the overbought status. Need to see what develops. If we're going to pull back first before marching higher, or is this going to lock in? Uh, and you know next week and and really take off so we'll have to look and see it remains to be seen uh, one thing to note though this gap here has not been filled okay this wick here does not count as filling the gap we need to trade here not spike here so because we have not traded here and filled this gap this trend line right here does come into play. We cannot ignore the 114.28 trend line support moving forward. So I suspect after this move is completed, and we won't know until you know we see what happens here. But once this upward move is thrust is completed, I believe that this has to be closed out and tested before moving higher. Uh, any way you slice it, though, this will be revisited, and this this gap here will have to be closed before moving higher. That's all I have for now. Remember, this is a, a shortened uh, trading week as far as volume and things of that nature. So remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Remember to take what you can and give nothing back and be on the lookout for part five of our series and um, everyone be encouraged and uh, have a, a great and safe holiday weekend.